the visit of the extraterrestrials, cannot be determined how many aliens races exist, according to the most daring scientist, there could be more than 100,000 different races in our Milky Way galaxy, similar to us, and I say a morphological similarity with a head, two legs, and two arms, some of them have reached the Earth and are walking among us. There is an extensive number of extraterrestrial races interacting today with the Earth and its population. In an interview with Clifford Stone in 1998, a retired American Navy sergeant who served for 22 years and participated in the covered rescue operations of both starry alien spacecraft and the extraterrestrial biological entities that went with them, revealed that the Navy knew a total of 57 different types of extraterrestrial races, this is the Manual of Special Operations, dated in 1954, it provides procedures that military personnel must follow to attend the crashing disks. The knowledge of these alleged stellar civilizations, is derived from several accounts of people who claim to be contacted with beings external to our planet and also by the multiple legends of different ancient civilizations throughout the globe that are reflected in several fictional stories of cinema and television. The following are 10 extraterrestrial races that had been identified to be living or that lived in the Earth. Number 1, the Havmuzovs, prominent in the Native American tradition of Pehut, it is alleged that the Havmuzovs were a race similar to the Egyptians or Greeks, who were discovered in a huge caverns about three to five thousand years ago, and later, inside under the deep Panamint Mountains of California. Within these, they then established their immense subterranean cities. When the internal sea, now Death Valley, which connected with the ocean in ancient times, dried up, they had no way to continue trading with other parts of the world. As a result of this, according to the Pehut tradition, they began to build and fly silver eagles, which became increasingly advanced over time. They, then, evidently established interplanetary travel and later interstellar travel, exploration, and colonization. This huge facility is operating as an important base of the Federation on Earth, and has huge cameras with different environmental, atmospheric, and even gravitational conditions to accommodate the various dignitaries of the Federation. Number 2. The White Brotherhood of Light, these are supposedly humanoid beings that are composed of bright light bodies in various bright colors. They are supposedly helping humanity secretly to become the peaceful spiritual race. Apparently, they are the teachers, they do not have direct physical communication and prefer to channel their information. Number 3. Men of Black, also called the MIP, or Horlocks. These are, it seems, in many cases, humans who are controlled by draconian influences, although other men in black have been found, who do not seem human, but rather reptilian or synthetic. The men in black have often been found after UFO sightings, usually intimidating witnesses to keep silent about what they have seen, many of the witnesses are sometimes abducted with suppressed event memories. Their threats appear to be motivated by attempts to use terrorism, fear, or intimidation as a psychological weapon against witnesses. These weapons can not only be used to keep the human men in black under control, but are also used by the men in black themselves. They are often, though not always, seen in connection with large black automobiles, some of which have been seen disappearing into mountains as in the case of a base area between canyons or tunnels in Hopland and Lakeport, California, or in some cases they seem to appear and disappear, vanish, from nowhere. Most of the men in black humanoids have probably been implanted by the Draconians, and are essentially their slaves. Biosynthetic forms possessed by infernals also seem to play a part in the panorama of the man in black, as well as the underground and extra NAL societies. Sirius, only nine light years away, has been identified as the most important center of activity of the men in black, with an underground counterpart existing in underground complexes in the ancient and antediluvian Atlantis, and which have been re-established under the American coastline. Number 4. Hybrid, they are hybrids possessing human and reptile genetic codes and that nevertheless possess a sole human matrix, a green energy expert, who helped shape UK renewable power policies, says he is convinced aliens have been secretly implanting extraterrestrial DNA into pregnant humans, author Miguel Mendonca.
42, now claims the so-called alien hybrid community is expanding on Earth and vital to the future of the human race because of how they are helping us evolve into higher beings. Number 5. The Hyades, the Hyades in the Taurus constellation, such as the Pleiades and Vega, are said to have been the fate of yet another group of refugees from ancient Lyra Wars. The Hyades star cluster consists of 300 to 400 stars and is approximately 151 light years from the planet Earth. The Hyadeans populate a number of planets throughout the star systems present in this part of the galaxy that stretches over 80 light years in diameter. Origin: The Hyadeans are refugees of the constellation Lyra after the first great galactic conflict. When the Lyran homeworld Avalon was brutally savaged by reptilians aggressors, the inhabitants of that star system fled throughout the galaxy. While a great many fled to the Pleiades and other star systems some of these Lyrans made their way to the Hyades star cluster to start a new home. Number 6. The Iguana, approximately 4 to 5 feet tall, with appearance as Iguanas, however of hominoid configuration. They have sometimes been dressed in black, wearing hooded robes, like monks or cloaks, that conceal many of their saurian features, which include tail. These have been reported as being extremely dangerous and with a lot of hatred toward humans and towards lower ranking reptilians, such as the greys, and like all other branches of the serpent race, they use black magic, sorcery, and other forms of mind control against their enemies. It seems that they are sorcerers who jump dimensions or are a class of priests among reptilian species. Number 7. Eichels or satyrs, small furry humanoids with cloven hooves, who inhabit deep caverns below South America and other parts. They could be members of a fallen pre-Adamic race, which possessed angelic, animal, and humanoid characteristics. Now they are allied with the reptiles. They have been known, according to the natives, to kidnap women and children down through the ages, and many stories are told of South American tribes who have fought with these creatures with machetes during some of their looting to the surface, in search of women, children, or food. Number 8. Insectoids. The insectoid type aliens are described as similar to the praying mantises, who apparently would be in higher positions of authority giving orders while the others obey, they are beings with obvious insect traits, there is a great variety of them. Some have large ears, very large eyes, without eyelids, and small antennae, their body resembles that of locusts, prestigious scientists say that mosquitoes, gadflies, and all kinds of fly cogenera are direct descendants of the first settlers of the planet Earth, arrived from some remote planetary system, it is not known where they come from or what their mission is but it is not believed that they pose any danger to the human race, there are very few cases of sightings of these beings. Number 9. The Insiders, the Insiders are residents either permanent or temporary, from the different bases or colonies of secret societies connected to underground facilities throughout the United States and the world. Some of these groups may possess advanced technology, enabling them to travel to several planetary bodies in the solar system. This group is international in scope, and may be linked to controlling Earth's government. Number 10. The Yanoshians, it's said that on this planet humans lived in the prehistoric past. They apparently leave this planet some hundreds of thousand years ago according to certain contacts, and all have retained dark and weak memories and legends referring to their old home world, the planet Earth, where their ancestors lived long before their colonization of the planet Yanosh, it is said that they look earthy, though, somehow oriental and thin. It is said that they are a group of refugees, left Yanosh planet centuries ago in a huge bearer vessel type spa ship, roughly donut shaped, after a rain of asteroids or meteorites devastated the surface of their planet, causing a chain reaction in a grid of atomic energy, releasing the deadly radiation into the atmosphere and into the underground tunnels and cities they had built under Yanosh. Apparently, they remembered the stellar route back to Earth, and the latest reports claim that they were in a high orbit, somewhere near the Earth, and that they are seeking contact with Earth governments to exchange technology in exchange for a place to live underground. <laughs>